हेलो स्टूडेंट्स दिस इज आयशा योर कंप्यूटर टीचर होप यू ऑल आर स्टडिंग वेल विद द हेल्प ऑफ ऑनलाइन प्लेटफॉर्म प्रोवाइडेड टू यू बाय द स्कूल इन दिस वीडियो वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस द फर्स्ट चैप्टर ऑफ योर बुक दैट इज ऑपरेटिंग सिस्टम डियर स्टूडेंट्स इन योर प्रीवियस क्लासेस यू मस्ट हैव स्टडीड दैट कंप्यूटर इज एन इलेक्ट्रॉनिक डिवाइस like other devices which run on electricity then how is computer different how does it understands the instructions given to it how does it performs those instructions and how does it provide the output to for the task given to it this is all done by a special software known as operating system then what is operating system operating system refers to a set of program that provides an interface to enable the use of resources of computer system efficiently and effectively now let us explain it in detail as you know that a computer system is a machine then how come a machine follow instructions do do works according to our wishes for a machine to obey our instructions we need an application a software which helps the machine to understand the instruction given to it by its user and that software is operating system it acts like a middleman between the machine hardware and its user Have you ever imagined how a computer works when it is switched on? Who brings the first screen on the system? Who makes your system ready to take commands? How does a bare machine responds to you? This is all done by a program called as operating system Now what is the need of operating system An operating system has a lot to do in us in a computer Some of its basic tasks are booting of the system what is booting of the system booting of the system means to switch to start the computer and make it ready to accept the commands given by the user as soon as you switch on the system a computer takes one or two minutes to get started now have you ever thought what is going on in the background actually that time is taken by the operating system to make your computer ready to accept all your instructions some other task of the operating system is to recognize the input sending the output and it keeps a track of the files that are located on the disk it also controls the devices attached to it which are also called as the peripheral devices in some examples of peripheral devices are the monitor the printer and the keyboard now 
ऑपरेटिंग सिस्टम एक्ट एज अ मैसेजर बिटवीन कॉम्प्यूटर हार्डवेयर एंड द एप्लीकेशन प्रोग्राम वॉट इज द मीनिंग ऑफ एप्लीकेशन प्रोग्राम स्टूडेंट्स वेन एवर यू फील लाइक टाइपिंग एनी थिंग ऑफ द कंप्यूटर यू ओपन अ सॉफ्टवेयर एग्जाम्पल एम एस वर्ड एम एस वर्ड इज इन इज एन एग्जाम्पल ऑफ एप्लीकेशन सॉफ्टवेयर बिकॉज इट प्रोवाइड्स यू अ प्लेटफॉर्म टू डू सर्टन वर्क नाउ हु कंट्रोल्स the coordination between the computer and an application software like ms word here comes the role of operating system operating system is responsible for the coordination between the computer hardware and the application software that you are using the example i gave you is the example of how a operating system controls and manages the application program it also manages the hardware and memory resources of the system it also regulates the activities of the processing unit that is the central processing unit and also is responsible for allocation of memory wherever it is required either in the hard disk that is the secondary storage device or the activity of the ram or rom now the features of operating system now what do you mean by the features of operating system it actually means the functions that an operating system performs the first function of the operating system is to manage the device attached to the computer system it is called device management you know a lot of devices are attached to the computer now the operating system keeps a good track of how the data is transferred from the central processing unit to the device attached to it for example suppose you are typing anything through the keyboard now it is the responsibility of the operating system to manage whatever data is being sent through the keyboard and whatever action is required by the system is looked after the operating system now let us learn about the process management the operating system looks after scheduling and synchronizing of the processing of the programs now what do, does it mean it means that suppose your computer system is playing a music and you are typing a a letter in your computer simultaneously means at the same time then it is the work of the operating system to see which processes process the cpu handles and how so that the work done is done effortlessly next job is memory management now as you know that a computer ca- has various types of memory primary memory as well as secondary memory it is the work of the compute of the operating system 
to look after how the program data are stored in the memory and how how to retrieve those data and programs for, from the memory the next job of the operating system is security management the operating system is also responsible to see that no unauthorized person uses your computer it also sees that none of the malicious data enters your system malicious means those unwanted programs that can harm the computer system file management all the functions such as storing a file renaming a file and retrieving retrieving means to take out the file from a stored place is done by file management of the operating system the next part is the layout the operating system provides an interface to the user to access it application now to understand this children when you start your computer system you see that the first screen on the system with various icons various icons represent various programs have you ever imagined who who makes a shortcuts or icons for these programs no doubt you give the command or the user gives the command but how is it managed how upon clicking on this small icons an application is opened all all this is done with the help of operating system students hope you have understood in this video the features of operating system and what is operating system your assignment for today will be to go through the the uh, whatever has been taught and specially you have to learn the features of the operating system meet you soon in the next part of this chapter for today i and now thank you